Hey guys, how's it going? This is Prother, and look at that. As you can see, I have the Mystic Gold camo for my Jackal PDW. The first gold camo I got, which is a Zombies camo. Been really enjoying Zombies. Finished the Liberty Falls Easter Egg. Uh, the map definitely is not as bad as people said it was. It's quite fun. It's a, it's a nice map. It's a nice map, and the Easter Egg is... It's alright. It's not the best Easter Egg I've ever played, but it, it's a pretty good starting Easter Egg, I would say. And I got the calling card for it, so it's really cool. And I'm here to give you guys my first impressions and thoughts on Newtown. Now, I have played Newtown in every single iteration of Black Ops, except for Black Ops 4, because I did not buy that game, as that game died in a week in Australia. <laughs> and uh, I can't say that Newtown has changed very much as a map, if not at all. It's gone through its different iterations in Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2, and it had a little bit of differences here and there. Does it play better than Cold War? Yes, I would say this map definitely plays better in this game than Cold War. The visibility is a little bit better in this game, but it's not great. And there's one thing that's actually ruining this map, and that is the recon perk. Now, the recon perk is good in a lot of ways because it allows you to predict enemy movements easier because you have literally legal wall hacks. And I'm just going to say, like, why wouldn't you not? use this like the skill based matchmaking is so thick you need every advantage you can get and that's legal free wall hacks and let me let me be honest if you're in the top uh one percent lobbies versus cheaters all the time this is your ticket to get revenge is to have these free legal wall hacks i don't think they should be nerfed i just think there should be a counter for another perk like, hell, design a perk just for, to counter this or add it on to something. Add it on to Ghost or add it on to Cold-Blooded. And then there won't be any issues. <laughs> it's just because there's no counter, so people get free legal war hacks every time. And it does ruin this map's flow, and it does ruin ha the general strategy of this map. And that's to go balls to the wall aggressive in the enemy spawn at all times to get those streaks. One good thing about Cold War is there were no perks that altered the gameplay that much to where you couldn't play that way but now in this game we have the recon specialist so everyone knows where you are like there's no taking cover there's no hiding <clears throat> there's no surprise attacks it's just oh i spawned there's an enemy in the building i'm gonna wall bang him and that's happened to me so many times and i've also done this to enemies as well and that's because like you're at a disadvantage if you don't run the best setups or the best perks if you don't have this special thing in this map, you're at a disadvantage. And it's a shame. Because I really, really like playing this map. And there are games where I've, I've left because I've been versing Sweat Lords. And there are games where I destroy people. I went 44 and 15 on this map. Uh, this is not that gameplay. But as you can see, we're winning the hard point at the moment. This is a, a windowed mode gameplay. It's the only way I can record this game for some reason with Shadow Play. Anyway, overall, not bad. The good, best map in the game. Easily, the best map in the game. And it's not hard to beat those dog shit maps. This map has flow. This map, you know, has breathing room. There are a few bad spawns. Like, I've had some enemies spawn behind me on this map, which is annoying. And that's just because of the squad based spawn system in this game. Kill streaks are very strong on this map, which is how they should be. Kill streaks should rain fight on this map, and there's no shitty air patrol to take that away from you. So if you get a VSAT, if you get a strafe run, if you get a AC-130 on this map, you actually earned that shit. And chances are you've killed that guy who's got air patrol before he could get it, unlike Cold War. So this game addressed this. This game actually addressed a lot of the issues that, that this map had on Cold War, which was um, the constant storing of air patrols to take out your VSAT. And everyone knows if you got a VSAT in Cold War, you know that was just it for the enemy team. They were fucked, and uh, you were guaranteed to get a nuke. That's what happened to me. I got my VSAT. I got my war machine. I was all set. I was getting a nuke no matter what. But yeah. That's all that needs to be said. If you've played Newtown before, just know that Newtown plays really good in this game. But 
unfortunately ruined by the desync slash skill based damage, which everyone's calling it for fun. And ruined, of course, by the one KD that you're guaranteed to get every single lobby. Like, I, I think I get like a 1.06 KD in this game. Currently sitting at 1.1 KD, even though I'm a 1.5, 1.8 KD player. <sighs> I'm going to end it there. There's no reason to go on. If you've played this map, you know what to expect. Just know it's really good. Alright, see you guys.